Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Nine Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy gaming. In this episode, we are going to go sell stuff, and then we're going to work on our defenses. Uh, so I have completed putting in the bars all the way around uh, the perimeter of the place here. And I did decide to go ahead and put uh, these pillars in at uh, even intervals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put uh, auto turrets up there because I've got so many of them. You know, over the course of our playthrough here, I've got several uh, auto turrets. I got shotgun and 9mm, and we got uh, both shotgun ammunition and 9mm ammunition coming out our ears. Uh, so why not, right? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're basically going to put a turret on top of each one of these pillars, or if we have enough to do that. Um, and then, you know, get them hooked up and start letting them take care of the screamies. Uh, but we will do that later. And what we're going to do first, like I said, is get uh, stuff repaired. Uh, and then uh, repaired, modded up, and then sold. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is repair things. And then we will take and mod up our most valuable items first. And then, you know, whatever we have left, we'll, we'll do the rest of um, so let's see here. Um, why don't we, I, I made a whole mess of repair kits as you can see here. Um, so why don't we get stuff repaired first? I'm just going to repair everything that needs to be repaired. That does not, um, this probably is not, uh, not worth it. So yeah, let's, um, Let's just take this off of here, and we'll scrap this. Not worth burning the repair kit for, but we'll do it for the orange ones. Um, maybe maybe that one is. I don't know. It's marginal. It's marginal. Uh, let's keep all of the mods in here for now. And everything you know that you see in here, I've already gone through and made sure that I have, you know, the the best. Uh, out of all of those and then I have you know I have a backup of most most things too in fact we don't need we don't need all actually all of these spears this one's the best right uh, no actually that one's the best we might as well sell these spears I probably won't use them again for the rest of this playthrough anyway um, because I really actually like the stun baton quite a bit but we'll keep one spear um, with us anyway just in case just in case we decide to go back to it at some point. All right. Uh, don't know why I'm hanging on to that. And there's other things in here I could sell too, but we'll just start with this. Okay, so again, we'll go through and just grab anything that needs to be repaired. That, uh, that does not. All right, so we got everything repaired. Uh, now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of go through and sort things according to the most valuable stuff, because we want to mod the most valuable stuff first and then just kind of work our way down. So let me get that um, kind of figured out next. All right, guys, I finally have everything sorted. Man, that took a long time. Uh, so everything that's currently in my inventory is sorted according to its base value except for helmets uh, uh, the helmets um i put all of my helmet lights on my most valuable helmets um just because i had so many helmet lights so starting uh with my toolbar uh, well actually th this pile of cash is our most valuable thing there's over eleven thousand coin right there just in that sucker alone um and then the, this purple auger is, and basically all of this stuff here up to here is 3240. Well, yeah, even these shotguns are. So my whole entire toolbar is our highest value items. Uh, this is also a 3240. This is a 3240. And then from here, it starts dropping down to 2808 and then 26, uh, 24 for a few of those, then 2160 and et cetera, et cetera. So, so as it continues to go, on down the list, the value continues uh, to decrease, decrease on these items. So that way, when we when we get to the trader, you know, we can just go right down the line and make sure that we're getting the most valuable stuff sold first. 
while while the awesome sauce is active. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to, to apply mods, and I'm going to need a little bit of room in my inventory for that. So what I'm going to do is um, I got a, a couple more really low uh, low items in there too. So let's put let's clear up the entire bottom row here of our inventory. We do need to remember to sell that the fir very first, actually the very first thing that we sell. And then um, in here I've got, uh, you know what, too, let's, let's just grab all of this stuff out of here and put all of the cash in here. So this is the cash on hand that we currently have, or the Dukes that we currently have. I'm going to leave that here just because of space. And then when we're finished with this and we get back to the base, we'll... We'll add it all up and see what our total amount is. It's going to be pretty substantial. Um, all right. So what we want to do is we want to we want to mod the most valuable stuff first, of course. Um, and so let's start with this guy. And we'll put the big. Uh, does it matter if we put the big tank or the small tank? I can't remember. So it's thirty-eight eighty-eight if we put the big tank on, and it's thirty. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So it's 3888 no matter what. So we'll put that tank on there. And um yeah, let's get back in here. Okay, so we're just gonna put anything we can on here. I don't care what the mod itself is, of course, because we're just doing this to increase the value of the item. These spike mods that we have, I don't have. Oh yeah, we can put those on here. Okay. Right, so. Let's uh let's just do that right now. Okay. So everything is out of here now and out of there except for the dukes. All right. Now we're going to let's grab the rest. Uh we have Yeah, we only actually have one more club. So, um we've got two spikes, two chains, bunch of barbed wires. Let's do the let's put a barbed wire on here okay and then I think I'm just gonna straight up sell I'll, I'll, I'll keep one God only knows why I'm gonna keep one but I'll keep one and the rest of these well the thing is though is we already have our club already has the spikes on it so yeah, we'll, we're just going to sell the rest of these mods straight up. Uh, just because they're taking up space and I don't need them for anything. Um, so let's put these in here because these are low dollar items. These will be least priority items there. Excellent. Okay, now let's grab anything else that'll go on these really high end items first. Um, we don't have, uh, we do actually have a compound bow, which I probably will not ever actually use, but it's the only one that we have. So I think I'm going to hang on to it anyways, just because no super good reason, just because I want to, and that's reason enough. Okay. So let's grab these other fuel tanks here. Uh, because I can actually make the large fuel tank. So if I did happen to need another one, which I don't because I already got one on my auger and my chainsaw that I'm keeping, but I can always make another one. Okay, so um, let's see. We can also put these. I'm, I'm just trying to get stuff for chainsaw augers and impact drivers first. So let's grab all of that stuff. None of that's going to fit on a chainsaw or an impact driver. Uh, I don't think we can put that we can put this on and I think we can put these guys on and we can put this on okay so let's modify and we'll stick that on there then modify one of those one of those one of those then modify and modify those can go on there um, okay, so we can't put these fuel tanks on the impact drivers or the guns, but we can put it on this blue auger. So we'll throw one on there. 
And I think that's all the motor tools that I have for sale. So we'll just hang on to... Well, actually, you know what? Let's just do it this way then. Let's just pull this guy back off, put this one on, and we'll hang on to the big one uh, for later. Very good. Okay. So we've put all the mods on these um, uh, motor tools that we can. I don't think there's anything else that I have in here that will go on these other impact drivers. Um, let's put this in here. Oh, wait a second. That goes in here. I mean, and I've got, like, full stacks of stuff like this, too, but it's just, <laughs> we got so much shit. Let's just get rid of, you know, the stuff that I had in the, these, and we'll worry about that other stuff some other time. All right. Now, um, next, let's get, looks like guns are the next things that we're going to get. So let's grab stuff that'll fit on guns. So we got cripple them, uh, laser sight. We got the magazine extender. These I th think will only go on like pump shotguns or double barrels. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't put this on an auto shotgun. So much for being pretty sure. Okay, we can use those. These for sure can't go on an auto shotgun because they're specifically for pump shotguns. But let's just check it because I was just wrong about that other thing. Yeah, see, it's grayed out. Okay. So we're just going to hang on to one of those. The other one I think we'll just sell straight up. Okay, so we've got a scope here, a retracting stock, more scopes. These will only go on sniper rifles, but we do have sniper rifles. Let's grab those two. And then we have all of these trigger groups. So let's just do... So we put that on there. We can put the retracting stock on there, the laser sight, and the cripplum on that guy. Okay. This one we'll put cripplum, that, that... It looks like that's all we can put on him. We'll put the big scope on that sniper rifle. The big scope on this sniper rifle. And that scope can go on the SMG. And this scope will go on that sniper rifle. Okay. We're just going to sell that straight up. Um, okay, so now we have trigger groups. Let's grab all of those and a silencer. Um, do I have... I might actually hang on to this silencer. Unless I can make one. I can make one. Okay, yeah, let's not hang on to it. If I need another one, I'll just make it. And I think that's it for stuff that'll go on guns. All right, so let's go back to you. And we'll put uh, the trigger group on you. You can take a trigger group and a silencer. Seriously, you can put a silencer on an auto shotgun? I didn't know that. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Uh, we'll put a trigger group on you and one on you. And that uses up all of my gun mods. Uh, how valuable is this guy now? Look at that. 5,832 uh, coin. That is amazing. Okay. Now, let's see. We've got a bunch of armor mods we can do. And we've already looked at those. We've got a, some tempered blade mods and some polymer string mods. Um... I'm going to hang on to that. So let's do these next. And the first thing as we go down the line in value that can take a blade mod would be the steel spear. Okay. And then we got another steel spear. Then we have a machete. And that's it for the blade mods. This should be able to take one of these. A crossbow, and we also have a crossbow here, which I should have done first, but it doesn't matter because we have enough for both. Very good. Okay, 
So that's going to be... Can I make the water purifier mod? I can't. All right, let's get rid of it then. Not that I'm going to probably ever use it anyway, but we know now. Okay, so let's grab all of... We're going to have to hang on to that. All of these armor mods here. Uh, can I make the cooling mesh mod? Yes. Okay. Now, our first most valuable piece of armor is this steel helmet here. So let's put that on there, that on there, that on there. Next one is this one. Put one of those, one of those, and one of those. Then we go down to these arm pieces. Uh, or to the arm, yeah. And then the legs. And then this chest piece. There we go. Okay, so that gets all of our armor uh, mods. And I think that's it, guys. I think that's all the mod extra mods that we have that we can put on something. And uh, we're just hanging on to, to that stuff. I don't think I have any mods in here, do I? No. All righty. So... Let's do this next. Um, we're going to put this. That's 945. They're both 945s. Okay. We'll put those down in that corner, I suppose. Um, we're going to put our consumables in the lower right hand corner. And um, let's eat and drink. And then I think, see, those are 259, 207, 181, 207. Okay, so let's grab all of these and a couple of those just to fill up those two spots down there. So maybe, I mean, oh shit, we're running out of time. Uh, here. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with this stuff. I mean, this stuff is very valuable too, but... We might have, we'll, we'll do that stuff for our next selling session. Uh, we got to get going if we're going to get this done. I didn't realize it was so damn late. Okay, I'll see you guys over at uh, Trader Hugh. He's the closest trader to us. A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Okay, so what we're going to do is take one of these. Take one of these. Take one of these and start selling. Take a look at your inventory. Uh, no, we don't want to sell that. That's our main weapon. Uh, so we're going to start with this. 14,000 coin. My goodness. Uh, then this. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. Okay, let's quickly... We're, uh, obviously, we're not going to make it to any other trader, but let's see if we can grab the rest of the stuff out of here uh, that we want to sell, which is all of this. Oh, actually, he's not going to take those football helmets because... Oh, we didn't make it. Okay. All right, well... Um... What we'll do then is we'll take the rest of this stuff along with my excess um, parts uh, and extra batteries and engines and all that kind of stuff. And we'll go do this again tomorrow when the traders open up. Right now, let's head back to uh, home and we'll just see how much coin we have at this point. And then we'll get started uh, working on our defenses some more. All right, let's get rid of these. Where are you going, man? Big mama. Come off with your head. Okay, 
think that's it. Nope. Thought I heard something else, but I think that was just a flag. Okay, let's um put all of this into here. And okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, okay, so if we have 22, I think we have up to here, I think we have 400,000 coin. Um, my math sucks, though, so let me just confirm that with my calculator. Yes. So that's 440,000, uh, no, 445,772 coin. And we're still not done. <laughs> that's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good indeed. All right, now, uh, the very next order of business here is we've, we've got to get a gate put up here. So uh, is it not? It's a door. It's a garage door. We want a 5 by 4 roll-up door. Let's track that and get the stuff that we need for it. So 10 iron, 10 springs, and 10 mechanicals. Let's get that going right now so we can put that in place. Um, those two things back there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... need those to go in there any longer. I'm going to put everything in here that we still want to sell. And at this point, I'm not really too worried about the order of it because we we got rid of the, the real valuable stuff. The rest of it's not that big a deal. I mean, that's still, that's still pretty valuable. But yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll get them sold though. It's not going to be a problem. Okay, so this goes in here too. And we'll put this, this, and that in there. Now, I want to also go into here. Let's sell. Uh, headlamps. I'm going to keep the electrical parts. Let's sell some leather. Uh, we'll keep the mechanicals and the paper. And we can sell some pipes. Okay. And then in here, let's sell this full stack of bow parts, full stack of handgun parts, full stack of machine tools. Uh, yeah, the rocket launcher parts, that's fine. See, because the thing is, we don't need to make any of this stuff. We, every, we already have the best of the best of the best. Um, but we'll just worry, we'll just do full stacks for now. I mean, that's close enough to a full stack that we'll, we'll sell it. And then all this stuff I'm just kind of hanging on to for now. Just trying to think. We don't have any mods. I don't think there's anything in here I want to sell for now. Um, now let's grab. Uh, how much does that sell? Yeah, let's sell the the orange and yellow batteries. But I'm gonna keep green and higher for uh, for battery banks. And let's just grab some of these, too. I mean... Hey! Did she, did she get a scream off? I mean, an effective scream? No. Okay. The thing is, is the max we can sell to any any trader on those is uh, is three anyway. So I already probably grabbed more than I should have, but whatever. Okay, we'll put all this stuff in there too. 
I'm going to actually pull a few of these and a few of these back out. Just so we can get all of this stuff in. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so everything you see in here, uh, we will sell tomorrow when the traders open. And make ourselves a little bit more money. For now, we'll put these guys back in here. And these guys can go back in here. Fan frickin' tastic. Um, let's put you in there. And then I put all of my normal stuff in here. So let's just grab that back out of there. Okay, there's a few things in there actually that don't go. L let me get this all sorted out before, <laughs> before we proceed. Um, well, no, actually, let's get this in place before the next Screamer shows up. Then I'll get all that sorted out. There we go. Love it. Yeah, that door is way stronger than this door. So we are now enclosed inside of our base here with no breaches. Very cool. All right, let me get my inventory sorted out and then we're gonna do the next thing here with our defenses. Okay, so uh, what I've decided to do for destroying the original enclosure, the original fence, is I think it's gonna be faster for me to just dig underneath it and collapse it that way rather than try and break it. Um, unless, I mean, it probably wouldn't be so bad breaking the bottom, le you know, layer of this out and letting it fall. But this is, this is full concrete here. So that, that's going to take a little bit of doing. Of course, on the other hand, if I, you know, if I dig underneath it, then I'm going to have to fill it back in, but that won't take very long. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do is we'll dig underneath it, but I'll, I'll do that later. That's an off camera thing. That's not something I'm going to do. Uh, on camera. All right, let's take a look and see what we have for uh, turrets. And we also are going to need a generator. I don't think I have a generator. If I did, it would be in, in either here, which it's which there isn't one, or here. No. So we're going to need to make ourselves a generator. And I don't think they're very expensive uh, to make. Generator bank. Let's track that. We're going to need some iron. Some mechanicals and some electricals. Okay, so um, I, I I don't know if we can support all these turrets with one generator or not. We probably can, but if we can't, you know, then we'll make another one. Um, can I also make a battery bank? I can. Okay, what's the what are the requirements on that? Because we might as well put these extra batteries that we have uh, to good use. Two. Okay, let's grab a, a wiring tool. We're going to need that. And, um, think, 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 think. Yeah, and then the turrets. Okay. So I... I thought I heard another zombie. So look at all these auto turrets we got. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, plus, we have two that are already unpacked. So let's just grab all of these turret bundles. Some of these are shotguns, too. Just thinking here for a second. Uh, we're going to need these relays. Probably going to want to switch. I don't know if we need a tripwire post for anything in particular. And we have 10 blade traps, too. And we've got dart traps, three of those, plus two more bundles that I haven't even unpacked. Uh, let's unpack these security camera bundles, too, because they're going to give us more stuff, um, you know, that we can use. Well, are they? Sort of. Okay. We'll read all of these. We can make quality four batteries. Okay. And I'm just going to put... Actually, let's put this stuff in the 
parts bin. So I think it kind of makes more sense to go in there. Right, okay. And we just got a whole bunch of more wiring tools, which we don't need, so... Well, we'll sell one more anyway. And we'll put the additional one in there. Now, let's go ahead and open up these bundles here. I see it's given us a bunch of ammo, too, that we'll be able to use with them. Okay, so we have a total of 16 uh, SMG turrets and four shotgun turrets. Nice. All right, I'm going to put this extra ammo in here for now. These are all chocked full of ammo, and most of it's 9mm and shotgun turrets. Um, you know, that's probably worth selling, actually. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. We, let's just sell that whole stack, because why the hell not? We don't need it for the XP. Make a little more, a little extra money off of it. Very good. Okay, so... See, there's another Screamy. Keep on coming. All right, now, one thing we're going to have to do, I think, I think we're going to have to remove this because otherwise it's going to be right in the way of that auto turret unless we put the auto turret on top of it instead but um yeah see it's not going to fit on there because it's a half block yeah i th i think we're just going to remove this all together and I'm going to do it by digging it out. It's going to be way faster to dig it out. I think. How far down does that sucker go? Yeah, just one block down. Okay, let's get her done. Ow. Ow. And ow. Okay, now we're going to have to break all this stuff up. That should be good for all of that. And let's fill it back in now. There we go. Um, I could actually make some um, sod or topsoil, I guess it's called, to make that part look more like grass, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Excellent. All right, now... Let's see, we've got a total of, what did I say, four, those are all SMGs, so we have four shotgun tur uh, turrets, auto turrets, rather. Um, so why don't we put one of these here, and one here. Just try to think here for a second. And then I think what we'll do here is put SMG. And SMG. Can't pick that up. That doesn't matter. I'll, I'll. I actually wanted it to kind of point more out diagonally, but we can fix that later. Okay, let's put. 
another shotgun here just because this is where the heat's the worst and we'll put a shotgun there too and then everything else is just smg now we'll put that one at an angle Okay, we have 10 left. Let's make sure we have enough for all of them. So we got one, two, three. Oh yeah, we'll have enough. We will have plenty. And this will give me something to do with all of the extra ammo that we have. That takes care of that. Now, um, what we're going to do next is we're going to put... We're going to hook up the power, and we can probably right down here in this little corner is a good place to do that. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll put the Jenny here, and we'll put the battery bank there. All right, so let's grab... Six engines and six batteries. Okay, so it looks like I grabbed uh, one engine too many there. Let's grab two of these. And fill that all the way up. Now, I guess that only took a thousand. I, I, I was thinking I was on Undead Legacy because Undead Legacy takes so much fuel to fill those guys up, but they last a long time too. Uh, all right, so that takes care of that. Now, let's grab a wiring tool and we're going to wire from there to there. And, um, yeah, let's go outside here. And I think what we're going to have to do is... Let's see. Okay, so the electric relay one is right here. So I think what we'll do is we'll put a power uh, a power relay there. Um, I'm going to probably have to punch a hole through the wall here to, to do this. So let's do that. I can just... Hmm. It's just... Come on, man. Get on there. There we go. <laughs> that was kind of hard to do. Okay, so we got that wired up. And then... I don't think... Oh. Can we wire from one of these to the next? I don't... Ah, we can. Beautiful. Okay. And the cool thing about... um, Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. The wires are invisible. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So we, need, we don't even need to worry about making it look pretty. So let's just uh, start wiring here. Uh-oh. 
Okay, what's the matter? Was it too far away? Yeah. I, I needed to get in the right position with my body. All right, what we'll do is if this was if this was a horde base, I'd build more redundancy into these connections, but it's very unlikely, not impossible, but very unlikely that um Really? You're not going to reach there, huh? That surprises me. What if we jump up here? Back up until that turns red. That was close enough. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll go we'll just go to this corner. Well, if I'm going if I can even reach that. Yeah, we got it. And then we'll do a separate line on the other side. But what I was saying is it's very unlikely that these are going to get damaged to the point that the connection would be broken to the rest of them. Um, and really the only way that's going to happen is if a cop spits at the turret, which is not going to do unless I'm standing near it. And that's assuming that the turrets don't kill the zombies even before we get to that point. So I'm not too worried about it. That's the bottom line here. Okay, so what we'll do for this guy is... Um, let's put another relay up here. And we'll run off to there. And that one could go there. Okay, let's get up on the fence and run these around. Can't quite reach that one. Uh, all right, so we're gonna have to put a relay in. Okay, so that takes care of the wiring. So we need to get this guy upgraded. Well, both of those upgraded to concrete. Let's uh, do that next, and then we load them up. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Uh, let's turn that on, too. Oh, yeah, let's see the power draw. Okay, you know, it's going to handle it. I mean, it's, 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 it's getting close, but it'll handle it. Uh, and I might, you know what, too? I should probably put this all on a switch. Um, and just turn it on when the screamies show up or turn it on when, when we leave. I guess I guess we'll have to see how long it'll last because you know, once this runs out of gas, we still have uh, a battery bank with purple batteries loaded with purple batteries that will also maximum output is three hundred watts. If we turn that on and turn this off. Yeah, I don't know how long this will last, but but, you know, we have it, of course, as a fallback to this. But as long as the Jenny's feeding it, it doesn't actually draw power. Okay. So let's just let them run and we'll see how long they go. If, if they're running out really fast, then I might have to throw a switch on there to, to make it work all correctly. 
Let's see, we need some concrete and some cobblestone and some wood to upgrade those two things we put in. And then after that, it's just a matter of loading up everything with ammunition. Now, um, we gotta, let's calculate that. I, I'm almost positive we have enough shotgun shells to fill all of the shotgun turrets max. So let's do that one first, since that one's gonna be a little more straightforward. I'll put a couple things away here real quick. Okay, so let's grab all of the shotgun shells that we have. so many shotgun shells. I don't remember how many we can put in each one of those. I think it's just a stack of three, right? Which means I've grabbed way more than I needed to, but... Alright, so interact with shotgun. Which just basically... You know, these guys probably aren't going to be able to shoot anything right in front of the gate. That could be an issue. Uh, but that looks pretty good right there. Okay, and then... And we just want you... It doesn't matter because we don't have strangers. Lock ammo. Okay. Point that one down a little bit. That might be an issue, but whatever. Okay, that was an SMG, and then we put the other two shotgun turrets back here. Oh yeah, I totally got grabbed more than we needed to. Put that down a little more, and lock ammo. Okay, so that takes care of the shotguns. So I want to do a count. Yeah, I'm a little. I don't know what we're gonna do about stuff that's on the on the gate, unless we set up a couple of turrets outside that we're facing towards the gate, which we can, we could do. Already the shotgun turrets are going to town. Oh. They they all they can almost get to him. <laughs> well, if they climb up on each other like that, they can. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, they can really they can shoot a lot further over that way than I I would have guessed. Now we got more coming in. Yeah, that works better than, than I would have thought. But I still think we might put a couple pillars out, you know, like... Oh, shit. Cut that out. Um, you know, maybe put like one there and one there facing towards the, the gate. Come on, Arlene. There you go. Okay. How bad did they get damaged this gate? They got it pretty good. Uh, the other thing, you know, obviously the other thing I could do regarding, you know, whether or not we keep these running all the time is I could put sensors up, but uh, I'd be fairly involved, I think, to cover the entire area. I don't know how far down those sensors go. But... I do think we definitely want to get some pillars out here and and have them facing the other way. 
Um, so let's do that because we have extra SMG turrets. I uh, should have... Yeah, I was going to say, I should have some more concrete. I might at some point reorganize things here so that, um, you know, one chest is nothing but shotgun shells, one's nothing but normal 9mm, and so on and so forth. I can't use the, the, the move stacks thing because I still have some of these in here too. The rest of those shotgun shells in there. Um, I'm actually going to replenish the two, though, that we're shooting. So they're topped off. And then what we'll do is let's grab... I'm, I, we, we're definitely going to have enough 9mm to cover everything. There's no doubt about it. Okay, well, here let's get uh, let's get the other nine millimeter or the SMG turret set up first, and then we'll just move that down a little bit and lock it. Now this one, oh, I did, this thing rotates 180 degrees. I didn't know that. Okay, good. So we don't need to worry then about. Re, uh, resetting that. It's good to go. Lock ammo. Okay, there's the two shot ones. I didn't realize those uh, are not 180, 360 degrees actually is what I meant to say. So yeah, we're good to go. We're golden. Okay, now um, let's grab these, and what I'm going to do is, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, it looks like I put the the turrets back, so let's go grab them. Run that over to there. Run that to there. Camera preview. Point right at the gate. Uh, we need to make sure we didn't overload anything too because we added two more. Let's check that. Probably it could, might be right at the very absolute limit here. No, it's still a 289, so we're good. Okay, well I think we made uh, really good progress here, and um, the next thing I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to tear down, you know, the original wall, and I don't know. I, I really think that it probably will be faster in the long run to, to dig underneath it and collapse it. Let's just, um, before I let you go, let's just work with this section for a minute. And I'm going to grab a, let's grab an auger too. So I'm not convinced that the auger is actually faster than the pick. Okay, so let's just do this section here. All right, so I'm going to just 
just for the hell of it, I'm going to time myself with three, how long it takes for me to break three of these pieces with the pick. And then we'll do it with the auger just to see which one's faster. So I'm bringing my stopwatch here. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was 9.84 seconds. Now let's try it with this. That was 7.5 seconds. Okay, so the auger is definitely faster than the pick. So if I go along, I've got to get the sides out, of course. Obviously, I'll be able to dig a lot faster than breaking this, but then I have to come back and fill it back in as a thing. So on the other hand, Collapsing this means then I have to go and get all the scrap metal, but then I have scrap metal too. So, well, I'm, that doesn't matter because we're going to get it one way or the other. Yeah, I think I'm going to just collapse this. I don't think I'm going to dig it out. So, okay, guys. Well, with that being said, I think I'm going to let you guys go here. I'll get this stuff torn down um, in the next episode. I think we're going to get back to doing jobs and we have a tier six, uh, tier six infestation that I got from wrecked for the red Mesa compound. That ought to be absolutely insane. Looking forward to it. So that is the tentative plan for the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye.